Hi guys, it's Linda. Excuse my mess back here and mess up here. <laughs> I just got back from the gym and um, something happened today and I wanted to share it with you guys while it was still fresh in my mind. You know, um, I've mentioned in the past, or I guess last year, that I started going to therapy to help work out my eating issues. And I definitely realized that they were a lot more than I thought. I thought, oh, why this in my ear? <laughs> Sorry, I'm walking around with it. Um, I thought that it was all food related. And when I tried, you know, when I started to lose weight after the VSG, I realized there was a lot more to it that a lot of times I couldn't control my eating and it wasn't just about, oh, eat this, eat that, less calories, boom, there you go. There was a lot more involved and you kind of have to resolve that within yourself before you can really be successful at weight loss or at anything. Um, sometimes things in your life are like weighing you down and it's making it harder to move forward and um, I've had that on my mind a lot, how to resolve it. You know, I thought maybe um, confronting it and trying to figure out why would be a help. And uh, I haven't really heard a why from the people I've talked to <laughs> or an apology or anything like that. So it's something I have to resolve within myself and also set up boundaries so that it doesn't continue to happen. And it's all emotional, it's nothing, you know, crazy or anything horrible, but uh, you know, the same patterns, the way people talk to you, things like that just continue as you become an adult and you get to a point where it takes up a lot of mental bandwidth in your head and it's exhausting and you don't want, you feel like it, it impacts who you are as a person and you just don't want it anymore. So this, these are things that have been on my mind for a while now, and I haven't come to any great, you know, resolution with them, but I'm trying to, and trying to see how they relate to my weight loss and things I eat and all that. So I went to the gym and I did my leg weights and uh, it was really good. And I got in the car. It's like a five minute ride to the gym and back. And nobody's, you know, I haven't been in the car forever to like listen to the radio. But uh, we had a local station on with their morning show. And they, uh, I didn't know who the person was for a minute. And then they said, Dave. And then I recognized the voice. It was Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters and Nirvana. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. Um, <laughs> anyway, he um, was talking about, I guess the, the person giving the interview was asking about a cuckoo clock, something about a picture he saw of a cuckoo clock that he had. And he said that he actually has 12 of them in his house and that they're kind of symbolic for him. What he said that really got me was that the cuckoo clock for him, uh, okay, so the cuckoo is in the box and it is held down by the weights of the clock and it can't fly unless the weights are gone. And I was just like, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, unless you figure out how to get the weights off of you, you can't fly. You can't be free and you can't live your life the way you want to live. And yeah, exactly. I'm like, exactly. <laughs> that's amazing. And I just thought it was really cool. And that's exactly how I've been feeling all of 2020 to now and trying to figure out a way to take this weight of things that have happened to me and the way I've been treated and um, change my life and be more of who I want to be, not what everybody else thinks I should do and how what they want to say to me and how they want to treat me. And um, that's what I'm working on. And I just wanted to share that with you if anybody else is going through the same thing. Cuckoo clocks. <laughs> I might get some for my house now. <laughs> It was just really cool. It's like when you have something on your mind and you hear the exact thing you needed to hear that day. So there you go. Talk to you later. Bye.